What's up guys, Tony Hannity's here from Lazy Tech TV. And if you were lucky enough to be able to pick up some of the Google Home Minis for as low as $30 in the last Black Friday, I'm in the same camp with you. Now, one big thing that people have been complaining about with Google Home is that you cannot have access to multiple shared calendars and that is a big deal, especially for families. Like you can only have access to the main calendar, but not the secondary or third or fourth calendars. That is no longer the case. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do that right now. You open up the Google Home application itself. You click on the hamburger menu on the side, swipe down so you go to more settings. Then it's gonna pretty much bring up everything that is relating to you and your Google Home experience go all the way down where it says calendar, and then it'll give you the opportunity to check or uncheck whichever calendars you want to either be part of Google Home or not. Now, when you create events, the default calendar to create events in are going to be just one. So as it stands right now, you cannot say create an event in Frankie's calendar or create an event in Celeste's calendar. It's always going to create that event, at least from the Google Home, in your main calendar. So that's that's one thing that they're going to have to deal with. But as it stands right now, having the ability to listen to shared calendars is finally here. And this is pretty much what it sounds like. Hey, Google, tell me what my calendar is tomorrow. There are three events tomorrow. The first starts at 8.30 a.m. The title is Frankie's School. Second, at 8.30 a.m. Okay, Dr. Google, stop. Dr. Those are my events. How do I know that? Because I personally don't have anything scheduled for tomorrow yet. I need to do that later on tonight. But that's how you go about doing that in the Google Home app. If you guys have any questions, please let me know in the comment section below, and we'll talk to you in the next one. Late. Hey.